Allophane and fluorine drugs are medications used to induce anesthesia. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover everything you need to know about halothane and the fluorines so you'll be ready come test day. It's the morning after my big Halloween party and all my decorations are still up. The skeletons, pumpkins, bats, and so on. By the way, when you think of Halloween, I want you to remember the drug halothane. Halloween for halothane. Let's move on. As the host, I'm mopping up the floor after the crazy Halloween party last night. See the wet floor sign here? This floor sign is our symbol for the fluorines because floor and fluorine sound pretty similar, don't they? The fluorines are a group of drugs easy to spot since they literally end in fluorine, like isoflurane and sevoflurane. Now that we are anchored to our drug names, let's continue through the mnemonic to learn more about when halothane and the fluorines are used. After the lingering, questionable smells of a Halloween party, the freshly mopped floor smells delightful to the janitor. That's why I'm taking it all in with a deep breath to really inhale the nice scent. This is here to remind you that halothane and fluorines are inhaled anesthetics, meaning they are administered as gases that are inhaled through the lungs. Yep, I had to mop around the guy still passed out on the floor. Must have been a crazy party for him still to be passed out like that. Which reminds me, halothane and fluorines are used for general anesthesia. This means they knock you right out into unconsciousness compared to local anesthetics that just numb a certain part of the body. As you might expect, that means that these drugs are most often used before surgery. Gosh, it's super hot in here. The party was so crazy last night that someone broke the lever on my oven, leaving the oven on all night. I mean, just take a look at that bursting thermometer. This bursting thermometer should help you remember that halothane and fluorines may cause malignant hyperthermia. With malignant hyperthermia, the body reaches dangerously high temperatures due to uncontrolled widespread muscle contraction. This is a life-threatening condition, so patients receiving halothane and fluorines must have their body temperature closely monitored. Like I mentioned before, the lever that turns on the oven broke at the Halloween party. Notice how the lever handle is in the shape of a liver. Here at Pixarize, we use this liver-shaped lever to symbolize liver damage or hepatotoxicity. Halothane can cause liver damage, so it's best to monitor those liver enzymes like AST and ALT. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Halothane and fluorines are inhaled anesthetic drugs used for general anesthesia. They have the serious adverse effect of causing malignant hyperthermia. Halothane can also cause hepatotoxicity, so liver enzymes should be closely monitored. Stop standing and grab yourself a mop to help clean up. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.